happy day everyone today in this video we will talk about the overview just the revision of the chapter digestion and absorption we will just uh, give a overview of what are the things we discussed uh, still the day and not going in depth of it so starting with that the food will be coming to the mouth from mouth it will be traveling to the oral cavity the oral cavity consists of teeth and tongue and in teeth we saw what are the different types of teeth why it is co called as thicoid and diphoid and what is the dental formula of a human being and coming to tongue we talked about the frenulum uh, by which it is getting attached to the surface and papillae which is the uh, taste buds and from the mouth, oral or buccal cavity it will be uh, traveling to the pharynx which is a common for both wind and food pipe which is the common pipe and from pharynx it will be traveling to the esophagus okay and one thing about the oral cavity we have three types of glands over here parotid gland submandibular and maxillary gland and sublingual gland all these three glands will be secreting saliva to the oral cavity so uh, coming from the pharynx we are reaching the esophagus the es esophagus which is a uh, long high, long tube and from esophagus it will be opening into the stomach of the uh, cardiac region in stomach we have three regions cardiac uh, fontic and pyloritic region the cardiac region is bad the esophagus will be opening into the stomach and it will be guarded by the gastroesophageal sphincter so coming from the stomach we will be reaching the in the uh, small intestine the stomach will be opening into the small intestine uh, in the duodenum which is the starting part of the small intestine from duodenum then it is jejunum and ileum so the ileum now it will be getting open into the large intestine uh, the opening of the ileum through the large intestine it will be started with the cecum from cecum we have colon and from colon it will be ended with the rectum the rectum finally passes through the final opening of the alimentary canal which is the anus so apart from that we talked about the digestive glands which is liver pancreas so we talked about the liver uh, which has two lobes and the uh, function nutrients is hepatic lobules from liver we are getting bile and uh, from pancreas uh, we will be getting a pancreatic duct from we will be liver we will be getting the common bile duct which is the along together with the hepatic and cystic duct from the gallbladder the gallbladder is the place where the bile is getting stored okay so this common bile duct and together with the pancreatic duct they both will be uh, opening into the small industry has the common hepatopancreatic duct where the bile will be passes passes through the small industry so startingly the food will be getting into the mouth then what are the uh, mouth then it will be converted into bolus we talked using the saliva the bolus will be um, passed to the esophagus and through the peristalsis movement from esophagus it will be entering into the stomach the stomach have three types of cells which will be acted upon uh, acted on the particles we are getting from the bolus and it and further we talked about the pancreatic juices bile juice and intestinal juice so all these three together i mean first pancreatic and bile juice will be acting upon the particles we getting from the stomach so all those end products which we get that will be acted upon by the small intestinal juice which is the circus centricus other name for this so and then from that we will be getting the end products like amino acids glucose those things so all these will be finally absorbed by our blood and body and undigested or unwasted food will be collected by the large intestine and it will be stored in the rectum once we get the reflex from the nerves it will be passed out via anus though this is the overall quick review of the digestion and absorption thank you